Hey, what's up? This is gonna be kind of a weird review, but it's of the Donner ukulele bass. I do not have a Donner ukulele bass. I had a Donner ukulele bass for a couple days, but things didn't go as planned, so I actually sent it back. Hey, real quick, don't forget, go down to the link, pick up a ukulele themed shirt. They're super fun, thanks. I uh, got it for my birthday on Saturday. I know, this is just Wednesday, so I didn't have forever to do stuff. Uh, but I got it, super excited, played around on it. Oh, it was so fun to play, really enjoyed it. Everything felt good, it was very well put together. Seemed to be, um, it, it didn't look like it was sloppy anywhere. And the small scale made it easy to do bass stuff. And as I'm not a bass player, that's important. Uh, I'm not, my fingers are short and pretty useless. So it was fun. I enjoyed it, and then I uh, took it to church Sunday night um, just to throw it into an amp. I've got a guitar amp at home, not a bass amp. I wanted to give it a shot at a bass amp. I plug it in, super excited. And now, when I got this, I was thinking about the upright sound that everyone, uh, when they have their Kala U basses and stuff, it always sounds like an upright. I was super pumped and wanted to hear that same thing. Didn't sound like that, but I was okay because uh, the Donner was the cheapest one I could find. Uh, and the A, D, and G strings sounded great. Again, wasn't an upright sound, but sounded like a bass. It's super cool and fun to play. But the E string, I could barely hear. The, uh, the bottom three strings again, A, D, G, they sounded fine, loud, bright, all that stuff. The E string had a significant drop in volume. Uh, so I was disappointed, thought, well, I got to get rid of it. So I went on Ukulele Underground Forum, started asking about it. People gave me some advice about things they've had to do with theirs and things to check out. Apparently, this is a common in all different brands of ukulele basses. Uh, so, yesterday, that's Tuesday, uh, after work, went home and started tinkering around with it very carefully. I didn't want to scratch anything. I didn't want to break anything. Uh, but I removed the strings so that I could look at the pickup itself. I made sure there was no dirt underneath it. It's totally clean, it's fine, as you'd expect, brand new from the factory. And uh, I just pushed it over as far as I could toward the E string. There wasn't really any room. It's a nice snug fit. They did a good job. The wiring looked solid. All the joints seemed to be well put together. Did that, put it back together, didn't do anything. And then I realized, ah, uh, I popped the back off to look, make sure there wasn't anything janky going underneath the body. Um, nope, everything was, again, well put together. The wiring was solid that I could see from that angle also. So then I did what I should have done at first, which was I plugged it into my guitar amp. No, uh, no I'd already tried my guitar amp. I played with all of the EQ stuff to try to get it to fix. It wouldn't fix. So I plugged it into my iRig, I've got an iRig 2 that I put into my phone um, so that I could see the volume, you know, the uh, the EQ kind of bouncing around as I'm playing so I could see how loud it was. And then all I did was gently tap on the pickup. Uh, I went from side to side. I learned that on this little pickup, it's, you know, the size of the bridge. Uh, it's broken into four sections, so every string has its own pickup. It's pretty interesting, uh, but they're all wired in a single unit. Somebody on the Ukulele Underground Forum even recommended on his, he has chopped these things up with an X-Acto knife. I wasn't going to do that because I was afraid I'd mess something up, and uh, yeah. So anyway, um, I just started tapping on the pickup from one side to the other. I tried to do the same strength tap all the way across, and the EQ is jumping significantly higher on the A, D, and G strings. So then I had my wife come and watch the phone and so that I could have more control over my taps to make sure I was consistent. And I ran across, tap, tap, you know, you didn't have to, you don't have to do much of a tap. I just did it consistently across and she said, yeah, she could tell it was maybe a third or a quarter as strong as all the others. So they were three or four times as strong as that. So, it's a bummer. I uh, just sent the Donner ukulele bass back today. If you've got a Donner ukulele bass and has great success, please tell me, because I'd be interested in trying another one out. If I found a company maybe that did test everything out before they send it off, 
I would go with that, but I don't want to get one again where I have to do anything. Uh, just because on a brand new instrument, I don't want to mess something up and be stuck with a broken instrument. Uh, and so here at the end, I will show you um, this little seven second clip, which was me playing through my guitar amp at home, which I had tinkered with the EQ, trying to pull as much sound out of it as I could. Because um, the guy who I bought it from said that his people said that it was an EQ problem. And someone on Ukulele Underground recommended that. So I was all for it. I really wanted to keep the bass, but couldn't. So anyways, um, I'll leave you with a little seven second clip of what it sounds like. Uh, and don't forget, as usual, uh, if you hear something that you like or whatever and want to support the bald guy sitting in the green room today, um, go down. I've got a link to my little Etsy shop where I have a number of uh, ukulele shirts. I actually add new ones quite often because they're a blast to make. Uh, if you have any ideas for a good ukulele shirt, feel free to leave that in the comments or contact me on YouTube. I think you can do that somehow. So, yeah, Donner ukulele bass, super fun to play. Unfortunately, I couldn't get the pickup to work. I hope you have better luck than I did. Thanks. The last comment, that video actually makes the ukulele bass sound louder than it did in person. So, uh, yeah, it's very low.